Welcome back and this video will talk about memory, the RAM for your video games. I'll be using DCS World, a premier flight sim, to talk about how memory gets used and how sometimes your computer is not very efficient at dealing with it, as well as a tool which is free which helps you clear out your RAM before you go into a game. Now for those who have played DCS, I'm going to load up at the same time the same mission on the Kola Peninsula. The difference is, in the top left hand corner, I'm starting the game and loading the map. In the bottom right hand corner, I'm loading the map after I just finished flying on a completely different Germany map. Now we're going to look at the time it takes to load the map. If you look closely in the top left hand corner, you'll see the memory usage in purple has kind of gone up on the fresh load. And on the other screen, which is still loading, the memory has gone top down and now slowly is peaking again. Now, why is this happening? This is happening because DCS World uses your memory to store most of the graphics details, which then gets loaded into your VRAM of your video card. But when you switch maps, it has to first unload all the details from the previous map, if it's a different map, before it starts loading the new one, slowing down your load time. And there we go. We finally loaded up. Now make sure you guys hit a subscribe, hit a like, hit a comment. And now we're going to look at something different. By the way, that lesson was if you're going to switch maps, it's a good idea to close off DCS and to reopen it. You'll get a much faster experience and a cleaner, more memory organized load of the game. So we're starting up DCS again. Again, we're looking at our memory usage. Right now, by loading up DCS, we have used up 10 gigs of RAM and we're going to load up the Cold War Germany map. At the very top of the screen, the gigabytes going up is just how much data is being read from the hard drive. So right there, we've read from the drive almost a DVD's worth, or now, now two DVD's worth of data. And the map is still loading. Now that data is being taken from your local storage, M.2, NVMe, hard drive, SSD, loaded into your memory, into your RAM, and then loaded onto your video card. And there we go, we're finally loaded, and we're using a total of 39 out of 64 gigabytes of memory. We're in the cockpit, and now I'm going to overload my RAM. Now you would think that DCS would unload things out of memory and free it up for you when you're not looking at something. Well, what's happening is I'm pressing F2 on this mission. And every time I do it, a different airplane will load and it's flying over a different part of the map. So that part of the map has to load into memory and look at our memory usage. Every time I tap and change my view of an airbase or of a view of an airplane, more and more of my system memory gets used up. And when it hits peak, the whole computer, the whole game is going to start stuttering. So the first most important tip here is if you're flying a mission on a complex map that is not Caucasus and you have less than 120 gigs of RAM, stop pressing F2 and F11 to look at things. Look only at your cockpit and stick to that. Your memory does not get optimized by DCS because it just keeps loading it and loading it and loading it until you run out of RAM. That's tip number one. Tip number two is make sure that your storage is fast enough. That's why I always recommend getting an M.2 storage drive or at least an SSD drive. A link will pop up with a video explaining the differences in load time. But as you can see, as we start changing views after our memory is tapped out, well, we struggle. So now I'm going to switch to the Caucasus map. And by the way, we've loaded up 48 gigabytes of data in that exercise just by pressing F2 and F11 a few times. This is a lot of data being loaded. So let's load up the Caucasus map real quick and see the difference. Look at the memory usage on the left hand side. DCS first has to unload the Germany map and then load up the Caucasus map. 
So it went down to 20 gigabytes of memory and now it's loading back up as we load up the Caucasus map. But DCS is not efficient enough to find everything and unload everything. So tip number three is come out of DCS if you're switching maps. If you're flying all your missions on Syria, don't even worry about it. But if you're going from Syria to Caucasus to something else, close out DCS and come back into the game. And the most important and most interesting tip here will be the free application, the Wise Memory Optimizer. This is a free program that you can get that will help you clear out the RAM on your Windows. There's a few options, free RAM, empty standby RAM, defrag RAM. Defrag RAM, you don't really need to bother with. Make sure you click the little gear and you, you can disable start with Windows and disable auto optimization. You don't want this thing running and trying to optimize your memory while you're in DCS or in any other game. By the way, we're using 14 gigabytes of RAM. I just hit optimize. And as you can see, this program has just freed up almost six gigabytes of my total used memory. This means that when I launch DCS or any other game, I'll have an extra six gigabytes of memory that Windows was hanging on to but wasn't using available to my game. And this is very important, especially for folks who have 16 or 32 gigabytes of memory. Windows is really bad at cleaning up its mess when it comes to freeing up your memory. You can get a little bit of extra memory by using the clear standby RAM, which will make some difference, but this program is good at just clearing out your memory after you've used some programs, after you were browsing and you want to play DCS or any other games, run the Wise Memory Optimizer once. You don't need to have it auto-optimizing at any point. I'd say turn that mode off always. Run it once, get your memory back, and then launch your game. And of course, the other tip was to make sure that if you are going to switch maps, so say you're going from Syria to Caucasus map, you actually close your DCS. You can run the Wise Memory Optimizer then, and then relaunch DCS. So these are some tips and recommendations for making sure that your memory is used as effectively as possible. If you've got the money for it and if your motherboard supports it, go out, get yourself the 64 gigabytes of RAM or even 96 because it looks like the maps are getting more and more complex. Virtual reality, RTX is getting much more complex and DCS loves RAM. But what I love is when you guys leave a like, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave comments because then YouTube knows that this video was interesting and useful to you. Let me know how much RAM you've got in the comments because I'm always curious to know how much RAM you're using. And for now, Plasma will see you in the next video.